hello youtube and welcome to another cisco tutorial so in this video i'm gonna show you how to exploit cisco devices snmp using metasploit so are you ready let's get started so here in order to show you this uh, tutorial i'm going first to connect to my cisco router so as you can see here i'm connecting to my home Cisco router using secure CRT but of course you can connect it whatever tool you are using so here I am the user exec mode so let's go to the global config mode to show you just some configuration okay so let me show you the configuration show running config but I will filter just for SNMP So here, as you can see, I have configured uh, two community SNMP. One is called private for read and write. And the other one is actually public for read only. Okay. So a lot of people do that. They are using actually the default uh, community names in their Cisco devices, which the thing you should never do. But here we're gonna exploit this vulnerability of using the default community names in order to actually get some info about our router okay so let me switch to my uh, Kali Linux in order to show you how we can do that okay so here I'm on my Cisco or actually Kali Linux which came by default with Metasploit. So first of all, what is Metasploit? So Metasploit is a computer security project that provides information about security vulnerabilities and aids in penetration testing and IDS development. Okay, so it's an open source uh, actually framework. It was developed by a society called Rapid7. So it has a paid version with the GUI that you can actually buy from this company, but you can also download free version, which I'm using here. Okay. So if you are using Kali Linux, it comes by default installed, but you can of course install it in you if you are using Windows or any other flavor of Linux. Okay. So in order to actually run this exploit, we're gonna use as I told you, Metasploit. But here I have to make a disclaimer. Do not use that in other devices that you don't own. So here I'm using that just for educational purposes, okay? So remember always, if you wanna actually test or penetration test in some system, you must have a written authorization, okay? So let's begin. So here I am uh, under Kali Linux. So in order to launch Metasploit, it's very simple. All you have to do is to type the command msf console. As easy as you sh sh see here, okay? Here we go. So you can see now the Metasploit framework actually is starting. And by default, you will get this banner. So this uh, picture, his, this ASCII picture, as you can see here, is just a banner, but uh, it will be always changing whenever you launch your uh, Metasploit uh, framework, okay? So here, I, as you can see, I'm using version 6.2.27, okay? Which contains approximately two 1264 exploits okay and some other stuff so actually this metasploit uh, framework contains a lot of models and we'll be using some models in order to exploit the snmp weakness okay so as i told you this is just a banner so if you type banner you will get another banner so as you can see here this banner says it looks like you are trying to run a model okay which actually i'm going to do <laughs> here we go 
So in order to actually use model, we use the command or the keyword use, then the model name, but we don't know which model we are going to actually use. So here, as I told you, we are going to exploit SNMP. So you have to search for model that contains actually the keyword SNMP. So we tap dash search, then the keyword that we are looking for. So if we tap, for example, search SNMP, it will show me a lot of models that contains the keyword SNMP, okay? And here at the far actually left, you can see the model actually number, okay? So here number zero, number one, number two, number six, etc. okay? You can do the same for other thing. If you search, for example, for any model that contains, let's say, the keyword uh, Cisco, it will do the same. It will show you all the models that contains the keyword Cisco. Okay. So here we'll be using a very famous model related to SNMP, which is called this one, auxiliary scanner SNMP SNMP. In him, okay so if you want to get some info about this model all you have to do is to type the command info then the model name here we go so here you can see some basic info about this model okay so the name is SNMP enumeration model okay so the model auxiliary scanner SNMP SNMP underscore in M. It's licensed as Metasploit framework license. Okay. So the rank is normal. It's provided with this guy here. And here you can see a little description of this model. So this model allows us to enumeration of any device with SNMP protocol support. Okay. It supports hardware, software, and network information. The default community used is public. Okay. So whenever you have some default actually uh, community names like public, private, admin or something like that, so this model will exploit it and will show us some info about actually our device. So let's use this model and see if we can get some info about uh, actually our Cisco router. Okay. So in order to use a model, as I told you, we use the keyword use then the model name here we go and we hit enter so you can see that the prop has changed it now it shows scanner snmp snmp enum okay so so whenever you use model it has some what we call options so let me show you those options so we type show options here we go so here you can see the model options. So for example, here you have the community, which is public by default, number of retries are or remote hosts. Okay. Remote port thread time out version. So all these models or option models must be set. And here in this column, you can see that some are required. But here we are missing something. So all are actually filled except one, which is remote hosts. So we have to provide this option in order to run this model. Okay. So if you want to stick with the default, for example, for the community, you can leave it as, as it is. But if you want to uh, actually uh, set another community, all you have to do is to type the keyword set, then the option name so here as i told you will be changing for example the community to something else for example to public which is another default uh, community name and as you have seen previously in my configuration let me return back actually i have used this community name private for read and write okay so that's why here i'm using it once again so we have set up our community and we need also to see or to set up the 
remote host as you can see here because it's empty and it must contain a value so we have to set our hosts so our host actually is the IP address as you can see here is the target so here I'm targeting just one Cisco router but if you have if you want to scan for example a range of router you can also use this command here but here I have just one so I have to fill it with the default uh, IP v4 address that I'm using in my Cisco router okay so let's set this to my IP address of my home Cisco router which is that one that two okay so now I guess we have fulfilled the options you can also review them using the same command show options and this time as you can see here all the options are set up so the community now is private okay so before it was public now it's private and we have fill in also our hosts with the IP address of our Cisco router so now all we have to do is to run actually this exploit or this puzzle so in order to run it you have two options run or exploit so actually exploit is just a alias of the run so you can use run or exploit as you want so here we'll be using exploits enter and see what we get so here you can see that i've get a lot of lot of info about my cisco router using this model so let me scroll to the up and see so here you can see the IP address of my Cisco router which I have provided using the option our hosts okay so now we get actually some system information we have of course our target IP address the host name which is R01 and the domain name also for my Cisco router we have a little description it's Cisco iOS software so the model is C 880 okay we have also the version of all our Cisco iOS which is in this case 15.7 okay and some other info we have also how many time the system has been up here as you can see almost 13 days the our Cisco router is been up okay we have also some network network information we have also our network interfaces we have for example here you can see that i have interface etm0 we have ethernet 0 we have fast ethernet 0 fast ethernet 1 so all the interfaces has been enumerated using this model okay which is actually a pretty good job that was done using this auxiliary or scanner okay We can also, as you can see here, I have a connection that was listed on uh, my Cisco router on port 22 because actually I used SSH in order to connect to my Cisco router, which is this uh, window here. Secure CRT has used SSH in order to connect to my router. So you can see here that remote address, which is actually my workstation here, which has an IP address that one that 15. Okay. So with this model, we have successfully actually also logged or enumerated CP connections. And of course we have the different uh, UDP ports that are open. Okay. So you can see how easy it is using this uh, Metasploit model. We have enumerated a couple of options for my Cisco router. Okay. So now I'm gonna use actually another actually model in order to download basically the whole config of my Cisco router. Okay. So in order to exit this model, I will use the keyword back. Okay, here we go. Now we are at uh, default prompt for uh, Metasploit and we'll be using another model so first of all let me show you some information about this model here 
so this is the name of the model which is, is called config tftp because we'll be using actually tftp in order to download the configuration the whole configuration so as you can see here for this model let me scroll to the app so the model name is cisco ios snmp configuration grabber because we'll be grabbing the tftp or the cisco ios config we have here as you have seen some basic options for this model so we have also the community we have here l host which is the ip address of the system running this model so we'll be using some couple of options for this model and here the famous description so this model will download the startup or running configuration from our cisco ios devices using snmp and tftp okay so let's use this model so as always we can use the keyword used then the model name here we go as i told you let me show you the options because every model has some option that we have to set up so here actually we'll be using uh, community but not public we'll be using the, the default also one called private so let's set the community here we go and we're set it for private because we are using on my router we have to set up also the remote host which is the ip address for my uh, router here which is that one that you we need also the ip address of the system will be running the ftp server in order to download the configuration of my cisco router so let's set up the l host or the local host which is my station which has an IP address that one that 15 so I guess we are done now with this model here all we have to do is to run it but before run it run this model let's start my TFTP server okay so I'll go here to my TFTP here and to be using this free TFTP 32 let me show you so here we go we'll be using this tftp32 which is a free tftp server and of course the server interface will be the ip address that we have set up which is that 1.15 okay so let's run this exploit and see if we can actually get the config of our cisco router okay so let's run using the command run or exploit and see so as you can see here something has been downloaded to the default directory of my workstation which has an ip address that one that 15. so here you can see that uh, actually we have acquired the configuration from that one that two which is my cisco router so let's go to the default directory of this uh, tftp server let's browse it and see actually the file that has been downloaded so here you can see the file name is actually the ip address of my router so let's go to it and see if we indeed we get the uh, the whole configuration here we go so you can see here the file name and indeed it contains the whole configuration of my cisco router okay and there are the famous commands that actually is vulnerability that you should never use because they are the default one which are the community public and the community private okay so you can see how easy it is to exploit a cisco devices snmp using just meta exploit okay and of course in order to avoid that so in order to exit uh, meta exploit you can just type exit okay just to go to the normal prompt of kali linux so as i told you all this thing happened because we are using some default uh, actually uh, 
name for our community for our SNMP community as you can see here on my router so you should never never use SNMP community name that are default like private or public or admin or Cisco or something like that or if you are not using SNMP you should actually disable it definitely or use another version of SNMP like version 3 which has an authentication mechanism okay so that was just a quick a quick tutorial to show you how we are using Metasploit framework in order to exploit some Cisco devices SNMP. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.